Hello, welcome to the Dave Trumbo Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined here with Stevenson Women's Volleyball Head Coach Dave Trumbo. Coach, a busy week last week. We'll try to recap everything, um, starting with last Wednesday. Uh, you guys played Lebanon Valley, beat them to uh, clinch the top seed in the MAC Commonwealth for the sixth straight year. Uh, take us through that match a little bit. Well, we're, we're really trying hard to t play one match at a time. Yeah. And that one was huge. If we did not beat Lebanon Valley, you know, the Hopkins match right. was kind of meaningless uh, to us. But we were able to, to clinch that top spot and be able to be home for the playoffs as long as we win. So uh, that's really important to us. You know, we are able to get uh, have a nice fan base. We saw that against Hopkins, and just they were loud. And uh, they really weren't obnoxious as much as they were just loud. Yeah, and absolutely. Just have, and just having fun, you know. And so it's, it, was, uh, it was nice to beat Lev Val. Um, we may face them again, yeah. <laughs> depending upon they play Messiah. Uh, I think tonight, just to decide who's going to be third or fourth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then um, the following night, you know, back to back, you get Johns Hopkins. They come in here. Um, you start off really strong, and then eventually a three-one victory against you know a very good Johns Hopkins club. Yeah, that was uh, that was match was more for pride at that point because yeah. uh, they're winning their conference, we're winning our conference. They've got a great record, we've got a great record, so. Last year it was kind of for seeding in the NCAA. Yeah. I'm not sure. It's a little early for that. Right. But uh, Hopkins had been on an 18-match winning streak. Yep. They hadn't lost since the very first week, and that was to the number one and the number four team in the country. So uh, it's a good situation to get them on our court. And like I mentioned, the crowd was just incredible. And uh, we played really well. Yeah. And, you know, in the um, – I think we were down like 19-14 in the second and came all the way back mm -hmm. and won it. And then, gosh, we were down 24-19 <laughs> in the third. And, and we're serving for, we're serving for, match, point for match point and, and, and didn't and get, get it, it, but then came back in the fourth yeah. set and were able well, to pull it out. And that kind of says something about our team, about yeah. the mental toughness. Okay, we didn't get that 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 point we needed to, to go to send them home, but – you know, we regrouped and we were able to beat them in the uh, fourth set. But uh, Hopkins is a great team. I wouldn't be a bit surprised if we saw them again in the NCAA tournament. Yeah, it feels like that's been one of the big differences this year. Is your team has faced a lot of adversity. You know, obviously people look real quick at 27-1 record, uh, how much. But really you've been down one nothing. You know, Arcadia, tough match. You know, Hopkins, mm -hmm. like you said, setting for match, serving for match point. You know, some teams might have hung their head and said, well, you know, we couldn't close it out, and now we're going to, you know, they would collapse, but not this team. Well, we've actually played 11 regionally ranked teams, and we're 10-1 and one yeah. against them, uh, the one being Carnegie Mellon, uh, the one loss. So I felt like the we, I think we have a little bit more confidence. We have mm -hmm. more veteran, this, mm -hmm. and the leader, and the, the senior leadership is uh, really strong. And probably the biggest factor is our team chemistry. I yeah. think it's a lot better this year uh, as far as um, all 18 of us pulling together mm -hmm. uh, and we're all in this together kind of thing and the support and encouragement, which goes a long way to confidence and making the big play at the big time. Yeah. And then Saturday after the big Hopkins win, you have one day of practice and then you're right back on the road. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Stockton team that you've had some uh, some epic – battles with over the last couple of years and yeah they took the first set and you're able to win that and then beat Rowan uh that was a tough one and we kind of knew it could we summon up some summon up enough energy and passion that we did like against Hopkins because um Stockton we just it's always a great match we knocked them out of the NCAA tournament a couple years ago we played them last year and it was a really intense match uh and uh, just everybody really kind of cheering really loud and just, just very aggressive. And this one was the same way. And they took that first set and I'm going, oh, boy. But we yeah. just didn't play that well. Yeah. And they were able to regroup him. And, and well, I wouldn't say one handily, but we won by five or six yeah. points. So, uh, But most of those sets were really close to the end. And, again, going back to that mental toughness, some teams, you know, you you see it all the time where a team you know, has a big win like against Hopkins mm -hmm. and then maybe lets down a little bit in the next match. And, you know, that didn't happen. Well, and to tell you the truth, I was really uptight. <laughs> I wanted to win that Hopkins game. I mean, that SWAT, that Stockton game so much because that would have kind of negated that Hopkins win. Right. And say so people say, oh, that was kind of a fluke or something. Right. Uh, so that uh, I probably wanted to win it a little bit too bad. My coaches kind of, my assistant coaches said, you need to calm down. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're just you're just you're you're reacting uh, negatively to to when we make a mistake. Just calm yourself down. Do what you always do. You know. Yeah. So uh, I have a lot of trust in my assistants, and so my wife says I do that too. This time, <laughs> <laughs> she, she she says, "Man, you are so uptight, and I'm not seeing it." So I'm just trying to relax. Yeah. I'm trying to take my own advice. 
take one game at a time. Yeah. And tonight it happens to be uh, senior night with Alvernia. Yeah, and let's talk about that. Obviously, closing out the regular conference season, senior night against mm-hmm. Alvernia. Um, just talk a little bit about what these four seniors have meant to this program and the success they've had. Boy. Um, well, we'll start with Megan Wren. Uh, Megan Wren is that uh, energizer bunny that comes on, and she always seems to be on the court for the big points at the end of the game. She, you know, is a designated server, and she just <laughs> she provides a lot more than that. And then because a lot of times we'll let her stay, and uh, Deanna does not come back in because Meg gets hot, starts making a couple great plays, picks the whole team up, and uh, that's been her role. And she is just excellent at it, and she's one of our top servers. Yeah. Uh, then you know. Lauren Weaver started as a freshman, started from day one at a position she'd never played before. <laughs> she came in here as a middle outside, and then we needed her right side, and she's a tremendous athlete. And uh, so she's one of the reasons she and Mariah Savage are two of the reasons we switched to a 6-2 because we felt like our right sides are really strong. Yeah. And uh, so Lauren's had a great career here, and uh, she just kind of keeps everybody loose and has great perspective on uh, – on things, yeah. uh, uh, Deanna Bradbury, you know, she had uh, Sammy Perillo's shoes to fill. You know, yeah. she had to come in here as a freshman, and she was replacing a three-time honorable mention All-American. And uh, we went to the second round when we had Lauren, Deanna, and Annika all starting as freshmen. We went to the second round of the NCAA, so yeah. that was a good that was a good feeling. And Deanna just makes just phenomenal plays and just all over the court, and just is very even keel. Yeah. You know, she doesn't get excited about too much. She doesn't get down if she if she shanks a ball. She's just, you know, just um, very confident. And then Annika Swartz um, has been phenomenal. You know, yeah. we, we've, you know, there's been lots of talk about Annika um, and all the awards that she's winning. But she is kind of the glue that holds everything together. I'll never forget when she was a freshman and she put the ball down to send us to the NCAA. You know, 15-13 in the fifth against Messiah, and everybody rushed out on the court, and she was like, "Ooh!" <laughs> <laughs> and now she's the one leading the cheers yeah. and just embracing the moment and picking everybody up, and just very nurturing and encouraging to her teammates. And they have her confidence is contagious. Yeah. And she's able to um, really has put together a fantastic season when everybody knows she's going to get the ball, but yeah. th- but she's not. It doesn't have to be her anymore. Right. You know, we, we've got a lot of other great hitters. So, and she's more than happy uh, for it to be the way it is. Yeah. Uh, so the four seniors, three of them started from day one. Yeah. You know, and so this is going to be a tough, tough class to um, replace. Yeah. Well, certainly, obviously, we'll be, you know, at Owensville Gym tonight to honor them. Um, you know, obviously, some more home games to go, but, um, you know, we're honoring them tonight. Um, best of luck this week as you close out the regular season. For Dave Trumbo, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Dave Trumbo Show.